right, so stage one in Moringa production is obviously coming from the crop. You got to collect the, the Moringa. Come a bit closer. Um, so here we have a perfectly formed Moringa tree. This is probably third or fourth uh, harvest on this crop, maybe the fifth harvest. So you can see it's come up to about our head height. And we use body measurements in order to determine when it's time to, uh, to harvest. So we generally try to cut it down around the belly button. But during the harvesting, we select only the best of the best leaves. So the teams are just grabbing the stems. This is early morning. It's just after, it's just, uh, just after 7 o'clock a.m. right now. And they pick all the best leaves. Anything that has too much yellow, like if you look down here on the lower production, some leaves are falling off, there's some yellowing and so on. We don't go for that. We only pick the best of the best green matter um, from the top of the plant and that ensures the highest quality product going into the facility. So right from, right from the crop itself your quality control measures have already started so that was just just a sample of what it looks like when you pick. So you can see there's no yellowing leaves. You do still get a little bit of you know falling leaves on it and of course there's other material that comes through the wind, through the air, um, because we are in a sustainable sort of organic regrowth forest. Um, and so this now goes to the facility and gets washed and you will see the rest of that process as we go forward. So it comes here into this sack. The teams are just loading up one full sack. We have a lot of what we call support species on the farm. Um, so they cut uh, support species trees and they put them down to avoid any dirt or mud getting onto the sack, um, which is just an extra precaution. So you just place that in there. And they've got another little ways to go here. This will create about this whole sack here. Um, when it goes to the facility, it'll be around 35 kilos. And that translates at the end of the day, once it goes through the whole process, it'll produce about 3.5 kilos of uh, Moringa powder. So this is where it all begins. Uh, for In terms of the quality of the Moringa that you're getting from Priceless Farms, our, our farm is uh, it's, a, it's an ecologically friendly uh, organic space. We don't spray any chemicals. Um, and it's, 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 it's Moringa by nature. So yeah, that's, that's what we've got. And another thing, is that we have a lot of Moringa. So we actually have too much Moringa as per the production. And I think every farm should do that because then you're not desperate to get, for example, if you look here, some companies, they would be bringing in leaves like this and then they have their employees picking all the yellow leaves off. That takes a lot of time. And I have a strong feeling a lot of companies actually just throw those in. Um, maybe because their land value is very high so they don't have enough crop and so they're trying to bulk up their orders. Also, they're getting the stems in. So in our facility, only the leaves get in. Even these little tiny stems on the end of the leaf, they don't even make it in. Just the pure leaf itself. All these little stems get thrown out. So, so that's the beginning of, of where your quality comes from on our farm. So the change rooms go through a three-phase process whereby they leave their uh, shoes outside the building. This room right here is where they change in out of their regular clothes. Um, most of the staff have already bathed by the time they come. But then we go through here and they come into their bathing room. So come on in. This is a very basic shower setup. So we have a basic uh, bucket shower, which is what most people are used to in Africa. And then we also have the higher, you know, top-down shower as well. All of this water is filtered through a massive sand filter. It comes from the Nile River itself. And so they go head to toe here with soapy water to completely purify themselves. Each of the staff have their own um, towel that they're responsible for. Again, all of their dirty clothes are left in that room over there. Then they come through after drying off. They come through to their final change room here. And here you can see where they get changed. 
into these staff uniforms. So each staff is responsible for maintaining cleanliness on all of their uniforms. They're inspected every day, and uh, this is what they wear. So they have this, they have a hairnet, and they have a face mask. And they also have latex gloves. And we opted for the large kitchen gloves uh, to reduce on waste because originally we were using surgical gloves before COVID and it was very affordable, but it created a lot of waste. So then when we moved to the kitchen gloves, which are also made out of latex, those ones, they last about one month as opposed to two pairs a day per staff. So it's a really, really good asset and they get cleaned with uh, chlorine water uh, every single day. So everything in here is absolutely stringently clean and meticulously cared for and inspected every day. So come on through. So here you can see the staff coming in. And this is what we call the muster area, where all of the staff, after getting changed, they all come together. They can see what time it is so that there's no you know, ambiguity with respect to when they're supposed to start their shift, when they're supposed to stop their shift. Here we have our Q-Mark certification. That's not important. Not in this video. <laughs> So here's where they sign in. So all of the records are kept. This is where we, we, we know who was on which shift as per the batch, and every batch is associated with a day. Um, and so that's very important. There's hand sanitizer there. I'm gonna do that myself um, because we skipped the bathing uh, process. So we are gonna mask up once we go in. Where did I put my mask? So we're gonna put our mask on. All visitors have to put their masks on. Show you how the processing happens once the material has been.